In this episode, some fun photography hacks. This one is to create an illusion of your hand going through a wall. It requires no editing at all. All you need is a panorama function on your phone camera. To do this, just hide behind the pillar and grab your friend's shirt. Have the photographer start panning the camera until she reaches the pillar. After that, run to the other side and push your elbow against the wall. Just make sure you angle your elbow properly to get the most convincing picture. Here's a cool trick you can try for fun. Sit on a stool and pose as if you're floating. Then ask your photographer to get the same picture without you and the stool. Once you've taken your photos, go to the Snapseed app. Next, just open the photo with you in it. Head down to Tools, go to Double Exposure. Now add the photo where you're not in it. Align the two photos as best you can. Adjust the opacity to 100. Next, view your edits. Press double exposure and then push on this thing in the middle. Erase the stool. And then once you're done, press the tick. Voila, your stool is gone and now you're floating. Have you seen people posting on Instagram with the pixel dance off hashtag? Google recently launched a dancing childish Gambino playmoji and you can include it in your photos and videos. Just head to the Google camera app, more and then playground. Then launch the playmoji mode. Most people take photos of the subject at shoulder height. Next time try taking a photo from a lower angle, that way your subject will look slimmer and taller. When it comes to posing, instead of facing the camera straight on, why not angle your body and move your shoulders forward, that way you'll have a better shape. Another hack you can try is actually using the 6-4 rule when taking a full body shot. Instead of placing your subject in the middle of the photo, step back and go a little wider. Your subject should occupy around 40% of the photo, while 60% is empty space. Combining both these hacks will make your photo look so much better. If you're going to take some photos, why not make it interesting by finding something to put in the foreground? That way, you will be the focus and the foreground will be in soft focus. So this is how most people would take a photo. But now, what my friend is doing is actually positioning the flower in front of the camera so that it becomes soft focus. This way, it's going to make your photos so much better. Mm, and you you show off to your friends. Most of the new phones these days have the wide-angle selfie mode, which is absolutely fantastic to take group photos. Why not up your photography game and use it for scenery as well? What I like to do is go up to a tree and take a picture from below looking up. All you need to do is set it to the widest angle, then you frame your picture up and you'll have a beautiful shot. Don't take photos straight on, always explore different angles. For example, if you're going to take a photo in front of a wall, most people take it like this. It can look a little flat, so why not try a different angle and make your picture more interesting? Did you know that you can use portrait mode on your phone to make your non-portrait photos look even better? For example, when you're shooting a puddle, try using portrait mode to make that perspective really pop. Now when it comes to glary days like this one, sometimes it can be a little hard to open your eyes. So the trick is to close your eyes and then only open them when your photographer friend is about to take the picture. So one, two, three, open. That way you won't be squinting in your picture. Did you know you can make stop motion videos really easily using Google Photos? Now the key is you have to make sure that your camera is not going to move. The next thing to do is to position your object in the frame. Take his first photo. Now let's move him to the next position. Continue this all the way through till he's out of your frame. Alright, so I've created the pictures that I like. Go into your Google Photos and then you want to go to the three little dots up the top and then go to Animation and then select the photos that you want to animate. Press Create and then it will do everything itself. You can see it's made a really cool stop motion video. 
And we have come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com. And guess what, guys? We've got some t-shirts up on sale, so you better get them fast before they all sell out because I won't be doing those designs anymore. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this episode, subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you could just simply download the free Click Network app to watch the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah! Bing!